So if you wish to accelerate the manifestation or the attraction of an amazing life, you need to be in a state of changelessness, uh, sorry, changeability. You have to be able to wander within your own state of being. You have to be able to not tie how you feel to what shows up. It's very difficult for many people, very challenging. Yes. If you wish to accelerate the attraction of an amazing life within your movie, within your creation, which is all up to you, you deserve everything you desire because it's your creation, it's your theme, it's up to you. You have to be willing and able and conscious enough to not tie how you feel about yourself and about life to what is. What is should no longer dictate how you feel. What appears now should no longer be an indication of who you are. If you can detach your state of being from your circumstances, then your circumstances will continue to reflect you and before you know it you start to understand that you're not separate from your experience, you're not separate from your circumstances, but all they do is reflect you, never the other way around. They move through you, never the other way around. You never move through your circumstances. They reflect your state of being, you learn from it, you decide what you'd rather want to experience next. You activate that in your frequency field, not believing that it has to be dependent upon how things show up. And then things will actually show up in a way that's in alignment with how you chose to feel, regardless of your previous circumstances. Does that make sense? Awesome. Can you all do that? Do you feel you can do that? Or do you take your circumstances too seriously? Yes. <laughs> nice. Can you do that? Yes. Do you take it too seriously? Yes. Many people do. That's what we teach each other. We teach each other to pay attention to what is all the time. This is real. Pay attention to what is. Don't be too happy. Because nothing in your circumstances indicate that you should be. So why are you smiling when your mom is dying? Why wouldn't you? <gasps> oh, can I be happy when my mom's dying? <laughs> yes, of course you can. Can you be happy when my empire disappears? Yes, of course you can. Be. Are you able to declutch, detach your state of being from your circumstances? You said yes, but are you? <laughs> Thank you. So can you stop taking your cue from your circumstances. It's very challenging and it's very subtle. It's a very subtle, endless learning curve. And I include myself in that learning curve. There's endless degrees of being able to no longer look at your circumstances at all. Then you're in the state of the non-physical. Then you're in a higher vibratory state, which is much closer to the actual state of your higher self. What happens? You'll see that much more. You'll have access to that much more love, that much more wisdom, that much more connection that much more freedom, that much more empowerment. All because you have learned to positively ignore your circumstances without ignoring your integrity. There's a difference. Ignoring circumstances does not mean to ignore your sanity or your integrity. It simply means to not take your cue from what is as to how you should feel and choose your next reality. Does that make sense, the difference? You can be in complete integrity and complete compassion towards all of your creation without taking any cue from them or that which is as to how you should induce your state of being with a feeling next. You can choose whatever feeling you wish to induce yourself with next. It's not dependent on what appears. It's not. Your movement in that sense, your energetic movement is completely unaffected by your circumstances. Circumstances do not transmit a state of being. They can't. This table does not give me a feeling. I give me a feeling based on my ideas about this table. Now if you start slapping me in the face, Jim, that does not transmit a feeling into me. I will experience, I'm not saying that I won't feel anything physically, the nervous system won't flare up and that consciousness won't register that sensation, but what I'm saying is that how I feel about that and how I let that affect what I choose next in terms of how I feel about myself and life in general, what I believe, what my conviction is for the next moment, is not transmitted to me by your hand, your molecules slapping my molecules. In fact, your molecules are my molecules, and these are yours, so it doesn't even matter anyway, not really. So you're slapping me in the face, and because I have a definition about that being really pleasurable, my state of being, 
This is also not based on a real story. <laughs> Just a hypothetical example. My state of being will feel amazing. I will infuse my state of being with, oh my God, this, feels, this is amazing. This is great. <laughs> and so the, <laughs> the next reflection will be that he slaps me even harder because that's what I happen to like. Now, if I did not like that, if I did not like him slapping me around, but I still define it in a positive way, what will happen next is that he stops slapping me in the face because that's what I actually want. So if you want to receive what you actually desire, you have to define what is in the most positive way possible. Why? Because if you define something to be positive, to be in your best interest, your frequency will align itself with the vibratory state you wish to experience in the next moment. Since you've chosen to already experience it now, regardless of what happened, your reality can actually reflect that. And so you're attracting to you very rapidly an amazing life. Would it be helpful to have an instant shift from where you're at to the ultimate dream that you desire of? Would it be beneficial to have that experience instantaneously? Would it be interesting for you to have exactly everything you want right now? Would it be? Would it not be? Cool. Maybe it's different for everyone. For me, it's not that interesting because it feels so unreal. It's not interesting. The part that's so interesting about being physically focused is that there seems to be progress. So there seems to be some gradual nature, some linear transition from where I am to where I want to be. And it is through that gradual learning curve, rapid as it may be, I'm not saying not to accelerate. I'm saying if you would skip 20 years and end up in who you can be 20 years from now, you would have no knowledge of anything that happened in between. Now, how valuable would that be? How interesting would that universe look to you if you have no context to understand why you're, what you're looking at? How would, would that really give you a greater sense of evolution, a greater sense of expansion? Would that really add to the sense of having overcome, of having empowered, of having transformed? It would just be like a dream. And we already have that on a non-physical level. That's why it's not that interesting. That's why this is interesting. That's why limitation is interesting. That's why the gradual illusion of the linear physical reality is an interesting focus to spend some time with recreating. Because now you can make sense out of things. You can, in a sense, paste a story onto it. And I don't mean that in the drama-driven victim story sense. I mean story in a more holistic way. You, as consciousness, are now adding story to creation. You're adding relationship to creation. You're adding novels to creation and that's how it expands itself that's how it expands upon itself is through storytelling and again i mean it in a very holistic energetic way storytelling adding novels to cre adding stories adding lifetimes to creation that is how it expands upon its relationship to the structure that already exists in a timeless stasis state the universe cannot expand upon what is possibly configurable because that already exists it expands itself through how it relates to that, and in what order it goes from this one, to that one, to that one, and if it even wants to go from this one, to that one, to that one, maybe this particular I am consciousness wants to go from this one, to this one, to that one, creating a completely new story out of the infinite possibilities that are already timelessly created and don't expand. Does that make sense? The value of being physically focused is that you tell a story to creation that it has never told itself before. That is how you are valuable. That's how your expansion occurs. So there is that balance between gradual and instant manifestation. You always instantly manifest the next frame, but from the story subjective logical point of view, you're going to make that seemingly gradual. I'm not saying you're not going to accelerate this. You're going to accelerate this to a great extent, to where you feel less and less and less limited and more and more like it is a dream. But what is so unique and beautiful about this particular timing is that you learn how to gradually increase the acceleration of your changing from one parallel reality to another in a very conscious fashion. Bottom line, feel amazing about where you're at because it's about to disappear and change into something else.